Dustin Jacoby versus Maxime Grishin. We got minus 185 on Jacoby and plus 160 on Maxime Grishin. Let's start off on the Grishin side of things, who's coming off a uh, victory over uh, Gadzmur and Antigulov. That was a fight where I had the under one and a half. And we didn't get the Antigulov in round one that we normally get. For some reason, he was just going out there and, and biding his time for some reason, thinking that that's going to change the outcome of the fight. Then the second round starts, and that's when we see the vintage Antigulov going forward, landing a takedown, but not doing a good enough job in terms of keeping his opponent down, letting his opponent get back to the feet. And then by that time, Gadzimurad, uh Antigulov is just absolutely huffing and puffing. And we see Maxim Gershon go out there and just put it on him right um just just overwhelms him with uh just overwhelms him with volume with pace with pressure and, and then eventually it just puts away onto Gulov late in that second round there's about two or three seconds left in that second round either way it probably would have been done early third round as well too so bummer that i missed on the under one and a half there but grishan went in there and did exactly what he should have done uh before that we saw grishan have his ufc debut against marcin taibura and that was uh after he had had a couple stints in the pfl and came up short in terms of winning the entire tournament but the taibura fight you see the size difference right grishan is a big light heavyweight but marcin taibura is a legit heavyweight so uh or sorry heavyweight so we saw taibura you know pretty much bully him that entire fight get a couple takedowns push him up against the cage land some good shots from distance but we didn't really see grishan have uh the best performance that night right for some reason it seems like he's content which is pretty much staying on his back foot letting his opponent kind of pressure him and push him back and that's not really what you want to do against a guy like dustin jacoby who's really going to be able to put it on you with the striking leg kicks you know high kicks whatever the hell it is dustin jacoby definitely has the ingredients to to make it a living hell for uh, maxime grishin now going into the tape for this fight it was a fight that i'm like oh there's probably some solid dog value on Grishin here, considering that he has a wealth of MMA experience, whereas Dustin Jacoby, as of late, has mainly just been focused on kickboxing and glory kickboxing and all that. But when you really run the tape, you see that uh, Jacoby is very efficient with the strikes, right? Solid calf kick, which really rendered Justin Ledette useless in their fight, and he was able to finish him relatively quickly. Uh, and then even in the, the Thai Flores fight on the, the contender series, just putting it on him. You could have stopped that fight on multiple occasions, but Thai Flores was was just hella durable hella gritty and just had a ton of heart and pretty much just uh you know saw that fight through but this fight against Grishin, I think that Grishin is going to have trouble kind of closing the distance, getting his paws on him, clinching up with him and even getting to the ground which is probably where he has his best advantage I think that uh, Jacoby's just going to be able to kind of light him up on the feet, you know, start off with those calf kicks, uh, keep him on the outside. He's a big dude himself, too. He's grown a ton of confidence in his striking, and it's definitely been showing over his last several fights, which is where I think that he's going to have the massive advantage over Grishin here, who's just a little bit too slow, uh, you know, a gr good all-around MMA fighter, but doesn't really shine particularly well at one specific martial art. You know what I mean? He has a good top pressure, he has some good wrestling, but... I feel it's something that uh, Dustin Jacoby will be able to, you know, retaliate against and, and kind of just uh, be able to shuck off the takedowns and, and keep this fight at range where he'll be able to unload those laugh leg kicks, notably those calf kicks, and it's going to start to slow down Grishin and uh, we'll see, you know, uh, Grishin continue to, to accept the back foot just as he does in most of his fights and we'll see um, Jacoby kind of, hmm, I don't know if it'll be a decision. It could potentially be a be a KO as well too, maybe a TKO. But Jacoby's just been looking so good as of late. It's hard to truly go against him, even at uh, you know the plus one sixty five ish line that Christian is currently at. Uh, I like Jacoby. Uh, personally I'd like better odds on, on him too as well uh, I'll probably stay away from this fight but I'd, I'd maybe peak the Jacoby inside the distance line you know what let's just check that out live on the podcast right now Jacoby oh and they released it thank god Jacoby inside the distance we got plus 175 not too shabby Grishin is quite durable. The last time we actually saw him finish, so he lost to Marcin Taibura by a decision. The last time he got finished was in 2016 when he got knocked out by none other than Mr. Komen event himself, uh, Magomed Ankalaev. So it's going to take a guy like Ankalaev to kind of put out uh, Grishin. But then again, just kind of skimming over his his resume between Ankalaev and coming to the UFC, nobody really jumps out of the page uh, that has the striking acumen of a Dustin Jacoby. 
So maybe Jacoby could find that finish of his own again. Maybe that plus 175 is going to be some solid value as I do think that Grishin, you know, he he's just going to... I believe he'll accept that back foot. I believe Jacoby will be the one kind of moving forward, using his jab, using his leg kicks, and really kind of diminishing uh, the game of Grishin and really won't be able to get him going. So um, at the minus 185 line, I'm staying off the money line, but the the inside the distance is definitely intriguing at plus 175. So I'll go with uh, Jacoby to win this fight via second round TKO.